so today I've got my kind of year in wrap up. Most of the new products have already come out for the year and now they're doing their holiday sets and then in January and February all the fun new stuff will be coming out again. But anyway, I just want to talk about my favorite new products from this year and then tomorrow I'll be talking about my biggest disappointments and a lot of these are just so wonderful. So let me start out with number one. Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Serum. This stuff is amazing. It's a little bit pricey, but it's wonderful. Proper pH, no fragrance, lactic acid, obviously, ceramides, green tea, peptides. One of my favorite launches this year. And to be honest, I think there's only one other exfoliant in the entire lineup. And this is one of them. And I just loved it. And Peach, Peach and Lily did a great job with this. And I'll be mentioning Peach Slices, their baby brand, in a moment. But check this one out, and you know, if you can get on sale, it's even better. And I think Black Friday, what did they have? I think 25% off, or maybe 30%. So might be worth waiting for that, too. So um, next up, we've got the Bioma uh, Moisture Enrich Gel Cream. Bioma is a newer brand. I believe they're now at Ulta as well. I will link to it below. But they have three different serums. They have two different moisturizers. They have their rich cream and their gel cream. They're both wonderful. Cleanser, face mist. They've done a really nice job with their products. I cannot wait for more. Uh, shea butter, ceramides, bakuchiol, wonderful. And very affordable. I believe it retails around $15 or so. And now they're doing something smart. They're making uh, refills, I think, for their products. So you don't have to get rid of the whole container. So I love that. Okay, next up. From Kinship, we've got the Self Smooth 10% Glycolic Acid Resurfacing Serum. It's more of like a toner texture. It's liquidy. Um, glycolic acid in here. Proper pH, I should mention. Strawberry, oat kernel, panthenol, vitamin E. A little bit goes a long way. I don't know why they packaged it like this because it is a little messy. But anyway, that's what they did. I, I prefer to apply it with like a cotton pad. But you can just pat it on the skin as well. And a really wonderful product from Kinship and no fragrance in it or no real scent. It has like a light fruit, like barely scent, you know what I mean? Like when you don't really smell unless you're like really paying attention, but when you're just putting it on and you don't notice it at all. So, okay, next up I've got a couple sunscreens. And this one happened to be one of my favorites. It's pricey, but it's the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen SPF 50. What I love about it is it's a tinted light mineral sunscreen. It has no scent to it. Uh, it gives your skin kind of a nice um, glow finish, which is really nice. The packaging on it is a little less to be desired because it flakes off. Uh, so keep that in mind, and then you end up with like little flakes, so you just have to be careful with it. Or I think I'm going to uh, wrap the rest of this in tape, and then it won't flake off. But uh, anyway, so really like this one. I was super impressed with it. Their other sunscreen from Touch is also absolutely wonderful, but that stuff is actually... I actually even like that one more than the original one, which is also absolutely wonderful. Okay, next up, this is a pretty new product still, uh, the Stratia Skin Interface Face Cream with peptides. Uh, it's got a total of five peptides in there. Three of them are signaling peptides, which sing signal the skin to behave in the way we want it to behave. Uh, also has squalane in there, rosehip oil, and then the five different peptides. No fragrance in here. It's pretty darn affordable. And if you're putting in an order for it, pick up their liquid gold. I absolutely love that stuff. It is wonderful, and I will not be without it at any point in my entire life ever again. I will always have a backup of it. So, and now they made it even larger size, so that's even more wonderful. Okay, next up, another relatively new product, the Marion May Vegan Blackberry Complex Cream Essence. It is kind of similar to the Dr. Circle uh, Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence, where it's kind of a thicker texture to it. I'll just show you. Let me give it a good shake. Shake like, shake it like a martini. There we go. Or whatever. Is that a martini that they shake like? It is, right? I don't know. I think so. Or like margarita. There we go. So it's kind of a much thicker liquid, almost like a liquidy serum texture to it. Just wonderful. Um, very hydrating, no fragrance in it. I've known, at first Mary and May, all their products were fragrance-free and unscented, but now some of their most recent products aren't unscented. But this one is uh, Jojava Seed Oil, Blackberry, Centella Asiatica, Fig Fruit. Wonderful. Love it, love it, love it. Cannot wait to keep using it. Okay, next up. So I was really harsh on this product in my review because this is their third vitamin C serum in as many years very harsh on it. However, it has proven me wrong. I, I shouldn't have been so harsh. 
Castor X, uh, vitamin C, 23%, which is uh, 20% sorbic acid, and I believe it's 3% uh, ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a derivative, which is supposedly more stable. This stuff I really thought was going to be, because uh, they didn't have the ferulic acid in here that they use in a lot of vitamin C serums. I thought for sure it was going to oxidize right away, but I will say uh, I've got a little bit left in my bottle, and it's still pretty clear. That's impressive. I have been storing it in my refrigerator, and I probably opened it, well, whenever I did my review, I opened it at least a month before that, so it's probably been at least three months. Um, so I've got those two uh, vitamin C ingredients, and I've got panthenol, beta carotene, vitamin E in here. It, it really proved me wrong. So I'm impressed. They did a great job with this, and it's lasting a lot longer than I really thought it would. So I am wrong, and I'll admit when I was wrong and too harsh on something. Okay, next up, we've got a few more. The Wish Trend Vitamin Amazing by Cuchiel Cream, and uh, I'm almost finished with this one. I really like it. On uh, days when I don't feel like doing the, the high-strength trent, trentinoin, uh, altrino lotion, I'll use this. Uh, retinol's in here, but Cuchiel, vitamin E, niacinamide, no fragrance in it. It's pretty darn affordable. I'll link to it at Yes Style below. And really, really nice product overall. They did a great job with it. No fragrance in it. Really nice for most skin types. Okay, next up, one of my favorite products of the year, the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Serum. I love this stuff. The ingredients in here are so awesome. The only product problem I have with this product is I wish it came in a giant container because I love it so much. I'm wearing it right now. I didn't put any makeup on because I messed up my eyes, eyebrows. But anyway, there's a little bit left. It's got like a wonderful like gel serum texture to it, which just smooths over skin so nicely. So hydrating without feeling greasy or feeling slimy in it. So in here, we've got snail mucin, we've got bamboo, which is a nice hydrating ingredient. We've got centella asiatica, and then pycnogenol. So if you uh, like using this daytime, it's even better because that pycnogenol is amazing at fighting off UV ray damage. Highly, rec highly, highly recommend it. So if you found other snail products too goopy, this is the one to try. Love it, and so affordable. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a divergent product, the K18 Molecular Hair Mask. It's not really a skincare product, but I just wanted to mention it because it's a new beauty product this year that I loved. Uh, really leaves your hair feeling so soft and smooth, and you just use it maybe like a, like a pearl-sized amount uh, once or twice a week on clean hair that you haven't used conditioner on, and it will leave it so soft and hydrated and smooth, and I love it. So if you're interested in hair stuff, you have to try it. Get it when it's on sale, though, because it's expensive. Uh, okay, next up we've got Conserving Beauty. I did a video mentioning these. These are disposable facial, facial cleansing wipes that are fragrance-free. And when you're done using them under the sink, they literally dissolve into nothing. And the ingredients in here are fragrance-free, sunflower seed oil, jojoba esters, squalane, uh, cannabis sativa seed oil, and then two, two types of vitamin E. It's amazing. It really does a great job cleansing your skin. You can uh, leave it on or rinse it off, but the whole uh, towel dissolves. It's amazing. So I can't wait to see what else they come up with. Um, okay, a couple more, almost done. The e.l.f. Pure Skin Moisturizer. This stuff is also wonderful. It's so affordable. It's a really close dupe to a lot of more affordable or more, more expensive products. It's a nice affordable dupe. Uh, niacinamide, oat kernel, chamomile, ceramides, wonderful. This whole line from e.l.f. is really great. They did a good job, and it's pretty affordable, and they're, they're all fragrance-free. And then one sunscreen, the La Roche Posay UV Immune, uh, fragrance-free version, obviously I love. Very high-strength sunscreen, uh, wonderful. It does have denatured alcohol in there, but for this one, I don't mind it. Uh, in the summer, a lot of days when I was going to be out a lot, this is the one I picked because, I, in my opinion, it seems to be like the highest strength sunscreen uh, I own th thus far, and I really loved it. So I'll uh, let you know below. I bought it from soynetnature.com. I don't want to link to them because I don't want them to get in trouble if they're selling, not supposed to be shipping it. But anyway, they did a great job with this, and they're shipping it so fast. And then one last thing that I really loved was the Shark Flex Style hair device. It's like a hair dryer. But it's also due for the Dyson Air Wrap, and it really is wonderful. And they've got several different attachments, and it's like it's more less than half the price of the Dyson. So 
if you wanted the day wrap but it was too expensive check this one out i really am happy with it and literally uh in the morning takes me less than three minutes to do my hair with it now i'm not even joking it takes me probably like maybe two minutes at the most it's fast so anyway so those are the beauty skincare beauty products this year that blew me away tomorrow i will have the ones that didn't blow me away the ones that let me down so uh, anyway, interesting from you guys if there's any beauty products this year that wowed you and which what they were and what you loved about them. Leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.